Alright, so I haven't posted a video in a while. Most recently, because I got my hernia fixed a month ago. Just now getting to the point that I can move around pretty good. Still can't lift anything and whatnot. Uh, I, before I went in for my surgery, I made it a point to button some stuff up on the road runner. A lot of it really just wasn't video quality uh, stuff. I'm not going to make you watch boring stuff just for the sake of content. But that being said, I did accomplish quite a bit on the car. Kind of at a pause right now, but I'll show you where we're at. So as you're well aware, I don't really have that much of a budget for this thing. So I'm doing what I can, working with what I got. I end up putting a new pair of air shocks on it. Cleaned up the rear end housing. Set around new brake lines. Cleaned up the brake drums. Replaced one of the wheel studs. Inside we're all cleaned up. Got everything straight in the way it looks pretty damn good. New uh, urethane bushings in it. Kind of messed with the steering box yet, but I patched up the uh, lower part of the torsion bar, cross member. Still not moving around too great, folks. So you have to forgive me there. Well, apparently I've locked in the road runner because that door don't open. Here's that one. So, I don't know, here I am. No window cranks, door handles, pliers, not a goddamn thing. All the windows are up. up this road runner hood this car didn't have a hood when I got it I got it home and I got looking at it and realized somebody modified it I took the two body lines out of it to make it I'm assuming for the 71 or 72 so it just will not work with this car so when this hood come up on marketplace I had to run and scoop it had to take my buddy John to do all the lifting, but it's a red hood. It's a 74. The difference is 74 doesn't have the little vents that are back there on 73, but it's old on the old one that'll know that, and of course I'm going to tell everybody that, so it is what it is. It's going to look good. I'm basically going to just try to chase one rabbit at a time and get the red car together. If it gets sorted out, I don't want to start driving that. Then I'll probably start tearing into the Cuda. Finally. I don't have to give a shit about not messing with it, but you gotta understand it's safe right here. It's at home. And it's for, I don't know, 20 seven years that I've owned it. That was always the biggest concern was having a roof over its head. Yeah, so like I said, I'm still not moving around all that great, but I'm better than I was. So. Got a couple more weeks, it's supposed to be 100%. We'll see. So, thanks for checking in.